What we find is that when practitioners network together and share approaches and resources that are, they find to be really effective, um, and uh, arising from those networks, what we've done is that we've collated a range of resources that have been offered by practitioners for practitioners. The resources are being chosen by practitioners based on the notion that these will help other practitioners. Many practitioners do feel, even though they might work in larger organisations, quite isolated in their practice. And to come to network together and to know that there's this community of practice that is facing the same challenges in terms of new demands for GCSE maths um, and English uh, means that these resources are something that are part of that community and people can hook into them, use them to inspire um, their teaching um, and hopefully enable learners. The quality mark of the, and selection of these resources really is based on that alone. It's based on the, the uh, practitioners choosing and offering these as the ones that they're currently using and finding the most effective. These are trying to uh, support how to engage, often young people have been put off um, maths, um, to support them in uh, maybe resitting, rethinking how they, d they um, tackle their GCSEs. Uh, in the future, all their uh, uh, and how it links functionally to all the, a range of a whole range of learning programs. So they're offered not as a silver bullet. They're offered as something that practitioners we know have the most effect on learners in trying to make maths more fun, um, as well as enable quite difficult concepts. Well, I think the exhibition is a really good idea because we know that the sector is, is almost awash with um, hundreds of resources that have come from various projects or uh, pieces of excellent practice. I want these resources to inspire practitioners and through that learners to engage more happily and confidently with maths. These resources are for just that.